Senate has approved the death penalty as punishment for the importation of hard drugs into the country. This also applies to the manufacturing, trafficking, dealing in or delivery of drugs by any means. The drugs specifically mentioned in a new bill passed by the Senate on Thursday are cocaine and heroin, among others. Senate Whip Senator Aline Dume, during the consideration of the reports on the bill for passage today, recommended that the plenary be toughened to the death penalty. The penalty for drug importation or dealership is captured in the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Act, Bill 2024, Section 11 of the existing law, which Senator Dume sought to increase to the death penalty. Meanwhile, a bill for an act to upwardly review salaries, allowances and other fringe benefits of those working in the Nigerian judiciary has passed second reading in the Harper Legislative Chamber today. The proposed legislation, if passed by the National Assembly and assented to by the President, would nip in the bud the prolonged stagnation in remuneration to reflect the current socio-economic realities. The passage of the executive bill followed the presentation of the lead debate by the Deputy Senate Leader, Senator Lola Ashiru, during today's plenary. Senator Ashiru, while leading debate on the general principle of the proposed legislation, said the bill, among other things, seeks to review salaries, allowances and fringe benefits of judicial office holders in Nigeria. It intends to unify the salary structure as well as allowances and free benefits for judicial office holders, both in federal and state level. This proposed legal framework undoubtedly will bring about significant improvement in the welfare, capacity, and independence of judiciary, which have been contentious issues of public discourse over the years. The bill was unanimously embraced, but some lawmakers argued that in the face of the current economic hardships, salaries and remuneration of Nigerians in other sectors should be equally reviewed. No right-thinking Nigeria will not think that it's good to keep the judiciary comfortable, especially those in the states. Because when you go to the states and see judiciary officers jumping in Okada and Keke, you will cry for the nation. Because lawmaking shouldn't be every day, the issue of salary administration need not be brought to the parliament for debate. So once we fix it, we then have a clause that says, provided that every year, provided that every year, within that law, there should be a provision of appropriate organs to review, take into account the rate of inflation and adjust the wages of both the Chief Justice of the Federation or the judges that are covered by this act. President of the Senate, Senator Gautala Kwabio, after deliberations, referred the bill to the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters to revert back in four weeks to the Senate in plenary for further legislative function. Uh, to whom much is given, much is expected. Uh, there is no gain saying that 15 years without review and uh, that this is definitely a bold step and a step in the right direction. So since there is no senator who is opposed to it, I think uh, we should go straight into uh, putting the question. You would recall that President Bola Tinibu had presented a bill to the upper chamber asking the lawmakers to review salaries of judicial officers in the country.